the anthracycline uh, class of chemotherapy drugs still form a mainstay of management for many tumour types, but of course the risk of cardiotoxicity is an important consideration when using um, anthracyclines and um, having an agent like dexrazoxane that can serve as a um, cardioprotectant is very useful. So the um, precise underlying mechanism of action of um, anthracycline cardiotoxicity is still not precisely um, defined. There are a, a few potential um, mechanisms of action um, and dexrazoxane currently is the only uh, clinically proven uh, cardioprotective agent against anthracycline cardiotoxicity. Yes, so there are two uh, major concerns in that, or two perceived major concerns, one being the uh, potential interaction with the efficacy of chemotherapy. One of the randomized trials in breast cancer showed a statistically lower response rate in the uh, patients treated with an anthracycline and dexrazoxane compared to those treated with an anthracycline alone. But that trial showed no difference in um, progression-free or overall survival between the two arms, and none of the other randomized trials have shown any significant difference in, um, in, in efficacy between um, patients treated with an anthracycline and dexrazoxane compared to those treated with an anthracycline alone. So the second um, perceived concern is the risk of uh, secondary cancers um, following the use of dexrazoxane. A study was published um, a few years ago in the uh, Journal of Clinical Oncology by Tebby and colleagues, um, suggesting that there may be a link between uh, dexrazoxane use and secondary cancers. However, further analysis has um, suggested that this is not the case. Um, I um, use the drug for patients who are um, being treated uh, with an anthracycline, patients who are being retreated with an anthracycline. Um, again, these sort of decisions are context uh, dependent, but I, um, I would fully support the geriatric oncologist in terms of considering using dexrazoxane uh, for a patient at risk of anthracycline-associated cardio cardiotoxicity. It's a drug that's been around for uh, a long time. I think it's a, um, a useful drug in terms of managing patients who are at risk of anthracycline-associated cardiotoxicity. And um, I think um, it is important that the communication is improved in terms of the uh, perceived um, complications from the drug, i.e. Uh, the perception that it interferes with uh, chemotherapy efficacy and the perception that it um, is associated with um, an increased risk of secondary malignancies. Uh, both of those have um, been shown to not be the case. Mm -hmm.